Yeah, I want to start with you. One of the beautiful things about a, adapting a popular book series into to the screen is the opportunity to flesh out these characters. And while Rhonda isn't only mentioned in the books, you as well as the creators had the opportunity to make her a three-dimensional character. What was it like collaborating with the writers and showrunners to bring Rhonda to life? Uh, it was, it, it's an honor, you know, um, it's, it's nice to be able to, to have them want to do this for my character and, and to be able to collaborate with them. I look forward to seeing where they go with it, but yeah, it, it was nice, you know, like season one, um, when I auditioned for it, they had me do it in a couple accents and then, uh, we were going one direction and then the day before, first day of filming episode one, they're like, actually, let's go another direction. And, you know, they wanted to make sure I was comfortable with it. And also, you know, I, I want to make sure that I'm, I'm representing uh, where Rhonda is from properly. You know, um, it's wonderful to have an African girl from Zambia be a part of the story, you know, thanks to Trenton for writing her in. And it's just been an honor to be able to... Um, know that the writers are excited and want to do more for our characters, especially the adult characters, such as myself and Miss Paramol and Milligan, yeah. And Gia, mentorship plays such a huge role in the relationship between your character and Rennie. Who are the mentors in your life that shaped the artist that you are today? And did you shape that relationship uh, between those two as well? Oh yeah, very much so. Um, I actually had a similar age to them when they started this journey. I was probably in grade six and grade seven, I had two teachers who just completely changed probably the course of my life. Um, and I am so grateful to them and, and I'm so thankful that uh, I had the opportunity to, to you know, be, spend um, so much time with people who genuinely cared about me and who saw me as an individual um, and when I think about Miss Paramal, and certainly when I started carving out the character in season one, uh, those two teachers um, were very much a part of, of, you know, the heart that I found, that I the hope that I found in Miss Paramal. And this is a question for the both of you. This industry has made really slow progress in terms of greater representation on the screen and projects like this and characters like the two that you play are bringing much needed, that much needed representation onto the screen. What has it meant to both of you to play and be a part of this project and then also to see the fan response on social media? Oh, it's meant the world, you know, um, especially being two women of color um, and being able to go on adventures and, and be able to um, just show a slice of life that we do all sorts of things, you know, like it's, it's nice that um, the show doesn't is no respecter of persons like we just happen to be from different ethnically different, but we are going through the same emotions and, and going through the adventures and the surprises, the losses, the wins, all of that, just like everybody else. So I just love that. Like, it's not even mentioned really in any of our, in, in any of our, our, um, uh, our episodes is it just, it just so that it shows that this is a slice of life. This, this is the world. This is how, it's supposed to be and so it's it's again it's an honor to be part of a production and a, a show that does just that 